I'm Saul Taff and this is my bow spear build. We're going to talk about some mid to high level play. We're going to talk about end game concepts. Uh, but I am going to start a little bit with the early game and what you're going to be doing right off the bat. I don't want to spend too much time on that because we really want to dive in deep to how powerful this build becomes once you get all of the tools. So we're going to talk a little bit about the early abilities that you want to get, some of the early passives that you want to start getting, and then we're going to dive in deep to what it looks like end game. You can kind of decide how you want to get there. Uh, I might do another video in the future that talks about those details, but let's jump into it. So first things first, as a bow spear build, you're going to be basing everything off of dexterity. Your bow and your spear primary attributes are both dexterity. Your secondary thing that you can do, you can do a little bit of strength, but that's only going to benefit your spear. Uh, this first ability will give you an extra 5% damage to melee weapon light attacks, but you're really going to get more benefit just going straight dexterity. If you worry a little bit about your survivability, you can put some points into constitution. This first point is going to make all your consumables 20% uh, stronger so that you can heal up faster. But for me, what I decided at the end of my beta experience and what I'm going to be doing going forward is just straight dexterity. So when you level, you just put your points into dexterity all the way. And then after that, what we're looking at is um, our bow and our spear. Now, I've put a bunch of points into these, but you're not going to start with 20 points or 19 points available as level 20 for your bow and your spear. You're going to start at level, at level 1, which is 0 points spent level 1. When you get to level 2, you got to decide what am I going to be doing in the beginning. We're going to jump into those uh, more elaborate details, but how do you start? Because that's what's most important to people starting out. What are you going to do? Uh, the main ability that I love is Poison Shot. It's a very effective ability and works really well with this spec, as well as Rain of Arrows and the Barbed Arrows with the Bleed. And then, of course, Evade Shot is uh, just a great uh, maneuverability sort of uh, ability to use to get you out of trouble if you need to. So what we're going to actually just start off with is we're going to start with Evade Shot, pick up Rain of Arrows, pick up Poison Shot. Now you have your three abilities that you're going to have right off the bat, grabbing those three different abilities. Uh, then I actually do recommend coming in here and get the bleed on Rain of Arrows. Now on a single target, this isn't your best option. For a single target, Rapid Shot is probably your strongest ability, and you can go into more of a Rapid Shot build if you want to. You can pick up Penetrating Shot, Splinter Shot, Rapid Shot, or you can do some combination of things, but I'm an AoE puller. I'll pull a lot of targets, I'll Rain of Arrows, and you'll see that in the content that I'm showing you here. So I'll pick up Barbed Arrows to get that Bleed ability. And then I'll actually just come up and get Evasive Tactics. After you dodge, you deal an additional 20% more damage for 5 seconds. And this is something where you want to dodge before you start a fight and then start doing your abilities. And just dodge every 5 seconds to get this extra 20% buff all of the time. Now, I don't really maximize all of the uh, points in here to get Knee Shot. I just want these abilities, right? I just want these abilities to start out. And what I'm really working toward is concussion. And you got a lot more strong damage boosting pa uh, passives on this side. Aim true. Heavy attacks fly faster and deal 30% more damage. The majority of your ranged attacks that you're doing, you're going to be doing these for AoE damage. This is great overtime damage. But a 25 second cooldown, a 35 second cooldown. This is a 15 seconds more of an evasion sort of situation. You're going to be doing a lot of heavy attacks as your as your output in terms of damage. Now we're going to do finishing shot. If your target's below 50% health, you deal an additional 20% damage. We're going to do opening strike. Heavy attacks deal 20% damage on foes with 100% health. So when you're starting your rotation, dodge and then do an opening strike heavy attack. And it's going to deal 30% more. 20% more. The we the attack itself does, I think it's 170% weapon damage. A surprise attack is going to do an extra 20% damage because you haven't hit anything yet. So this first heavy attack is going to do massive amounts of damage. We're also going to pick up long range, an additional 20% damage when targets are more than 10 meters away. 
and that's going to affect all of your abilities. Uh, we're, our goal is to get down to this concussion for this 20% headshot. At the end of beta, I did this roll evasion tactic into a heavy attack opening strike, and I was doing over 6,000 damage on a heavy attack. So you do a heavy attack, which is a long draw, and then you click your poison shot ability and you put that right into them or at their feet. And then that'll do the overtime damage. You can rain of arrows them, um, just kind of aim that up. But as I got to the high end, you know, trying to get down to concussion, you'll realize that there's not enough abilities. This is kind of bugged, I can't click this. But you need 10 points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's not enough to get this. You gotta get one of these abilities. Now, Evasive Tactics satisfies this top line. And if you're looking for pure damage and you don't need that evasion, what I actually do myself is I get rid of that evade shot and I go penetrating shot. I get the blood soaked arrow because as each target it goes through, it gains additional strength. And you can see that in this clip here where I actually line it up so that it goes through all of them. It does massive damage. This is the spec that I used on this clip to do massive damage right off the bat. You get an additional 20% more damage on your penetrating shot when they're further away and you have enough for concussion. Now we don't necessarily need everything that's in this tree. You can get rid of your heals on yourself if you want to. Uh, I definitely like this. You can get rid of the 20% damage reduction while you're aiming. If you're in a situation where you're fighting melee mobs, that's perfectly fine because in this spec we're going to be focusing on the uh, the spear side when they're in melee. But this is actually beneficial when you're fighting ranged mobs. So you can kind of swap things up based on your play style, based on what you're going to be fighting against. You're not going to want to spend so much Azoth respecking all the time because you can respec whenever you want. It costs some of that Azoth resource that you gain when you do quests and different things in the game. And I'm going to be doing other videos that tell you different ways that you can gain more Azoth quickly. Um, but you want to kind of just spec to something that's going to make sense for you. And there's a couple of things over on the right side here that I do want to pick up. We do have three points available. So we can get the infected arrows, which increases the, the output of your poison shot from 10%. Over 20 seconds, which is 200% total, to 12% over 20 seconds, which is 240% total. And then we want mark. Anytime there's a debuff on a target, like a poison or a bleed, it's going to do an additional 10% damage. So you definitely want to have that ability as well. There's a couple other things that you can get. You can get battle precision to get a 20% longer. Uh, up time on your damage over time and your debuffs so that does even more poison shot damage you can do the 20 200 percent damage on a direct hit but we don't have the ability to click that right now so if we got rid of our damage reduction we could get that so there's a couple of different things that you can do uh, but in the beginning what i do is evade shot rain of arrows poison shot evasive tactics and then i come down and i get these abilities over here so if you're a level level one weapon, level two weapon, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then from there, you can kind of just decide which sort of direction you want to go. If you want, you can kind of get rid of this and come down this tree if you want, you know, because now you have a little bit more flexibility. Um, you're, you're really just trying to get these really early on just to get your abilities. You can, you can do whatever you want, obviously. You can do stuff over here, so that's flexible. But in the end game, I really like the AoE nature of this, and that's what I'm going to be using. Now, how do you start off your spear tree? Right? Because we're eventually going to be getting... Not this. We're eventually be going to be getting um, this build where we have our sweep our perforate and our vault kick and I'll go into that a little bit more detail but how do you start how do you start the tree because sweep we're doing all this stuff over here but really what we're, we're trying to do is perforate and vault kick and a, a couple of these fast re uh, fast reducing uh, cooldowns on, on things so basically what I do personally in the beginning is I'll grab skewer 
It's a nice additional damage over time. Bleed. Get Perforate. Get Vault Kick. Vault Kick is our stun. Perforate is a rend ability that allows targets to take more damage as you do damage to them. And when you get the bottom ability here, when you get the third attack of Perforate, it actually will stagger the target. And what we're doing here is we're creating this spec that allows us to keep targets interrupted all the time. So what we need to do next after this is, you know, level, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4. Uh, I actually grabbed this next, aggressive maneuvers. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to dodge, use an ability, dodge, use an ability. And th what that's going to do is that's going to reduce all the cooldowns by 20%. So we're, we're going to be able to get these stunning abilities up a little bit faster. Now right in the beginning we don't have all of the uh, tools available because this doesn't have a stagger yet. You need to come down here to get the stagger. Uh, you can get this empower ability. You can an additional 30% cooldown reduction when you successfully hit with Vault Kick. This is how I would start off. Then I would come down, uh, increase the strength of the Rend, and get the stagger. Um, and then probably come up and get Refreshing Jabs, which is another uh, cooldown reduction uh, perk of the spec. At this point, you start to get into the realm of swapping over to the other side where you can drop skewer and pick up i just pick up deadly reach and just kind of focus on being a little further away just outside three meters while attacking things with my long spear because um, i don't really use a lot of heavy attacks at least not consecutive heavy attacks so i pick up this then you get sweep now you have your your new ability now you don't really want to drop skewer until you can have sweep as your third ability because you don't want to sit with just two abilities you want to have three abilities now once you have sweep now you have your full toolkit you have your uh dodges allowing you to reduce cooldowns a successful ball kick reduces cooldowns and your light attacks your second hit of your light attacks reduces cooldowns and sweep is a 10 second cooldown base ability so you can use it quite often. Then you want to come down. It gives you grit while you do the attack. That means that you can't get interrupted while you're doing it. And then you get your ability to do additional damage. A second hit of sweep to do additional downward striking damage to it. Uh, you can pick up Merciless Strength if you want to. Which will basically allow this to do 25% more damage. I do like grabbing the invigorating hits, but before that, we're going to pick up a couple other abilities over here. Um, finishing blows is good because this, you know, when you're in melee, this is what you're going to be finishing targets off with. You're going to be starting with the damage of the bow and then finishing things here. So this is actually a rather strong ability for the spec. Four more points. Uh, if I remember right off the bat what I'm doing. Oh shoot, I need to exploit weakness. So how far? Okay, so. Once you have these abilities, you could probably even skip this. Just get the sweep. You really want to get down to exploited weakness. Additional 30% per debuff on the target. Well, when you're pulling, you have one debuff from poison shot, one from the damage over time here, and you can have a third debuff from rend. So those are your three debuffs for an additional 30% damage. You want to get that exploited weakness. So we're coming down to this. We're just getting massive, massive damage output. And then you can finish up your spec getting your crit chance against targets with bleeds because you have the bleed on them from your bow. You can pick up an additional damage uh, to targets with active grit because that will happen. Finish it off with merciless strength. Yeah, and I think that's what I do. This is my spec. This is the spec that I use for, uh, for Spear at the end. So you're going to be having all of these cooldown reductions when you're dodging and I'll show you the rotation here. This clip is a good example of doing things right and doing things wrong. I open with vault kick, I'll do two light attacks, dodge, sweep, hit my downward attack and then go into perforate. Now this mob type and different types of mobs have faster recovery than others uh, but what this also shows is when I screw up and I did a dodge into two hits 
instead of two hits into a dodge, I lost my timers and then I get hit. So at that point, you just want to back up, do some ranged attacks, and finish mobs off from distance. But really what we want to try to do is do a vault kick to stun your target. You do two light attacks for the 10% reduction. You dodge and then do a sweep that does a 20% reduction and knocks it down. Then you want to uh, dodge and do perforate, which is another 20% reduction and a stagger. And at that point, you should be able to dodge and vault kick again, which is a 30% reduction. And then you can do two light attacks, dodge, sweep, and continue from there. Just that's the rotation that I found has worked very well for me. So there's two different ways that I used the bow in this spec. One was a knockback spec, um, and then later on I used more of an AoE damage spec, just really focusing on early massive area effect damage, followed by uh, just really focusing on the spear. Uh, but the knockback spec gives you a little bit more survivability and a little bit more evade ability when you're playing. So I'll start with the knockback evade spec because the majority of the time that I spent in my bow spear build, I was in this knockback spec and it's a really good spec for single target. So on the skirmisher side, you get evade shot, which gives you some evasive maneuvers, uh, does decent single target damage, and the second ability here will give you the two meter knockback, uh, which is great for just distancing mobs from yourself and on pull just kind of slows them down so you can do more range damage as they're coming into the fight. Now Poison Shot's going to show up in both versions of this spec. This will put a Poison Cloud on the ground. Uh, you can put it on the ground or you can hit a target with it. The Poison will hit either the ground where you hit or right where the mob stands if you hit a mob. If you miss a mob and it, runs, it flies past it, that Poison Cloud's not going to be effective. So a great way to ensure that if you're pulling a group of mobs or a single mob, if you shoot the ground right in front of where they're going to be running to between you and them, that cloud will last on the ground for six seconds, and any foe that enters the cloud in that six seconds is going to get a 20 second duration poison, and that'll do 10% weapon damage. If you get the second ability, it'll do 12% per second for 20 seconds. That means it comes out to a total of 240% weapon damage. Now, if you have multiple targets, this stacks up to be a lot of damage. When you're considering your output, I always look at efficiency. How much time does it require me to do an attack? What total damage is this going to do? Obviously, front-loaded damage is superior to damage over time, but something like Poison Shot was such a powerful ability, and it was a staple for every single build that I used. This is how I opened a lot of my fights was with Poison Shot. Now for this spec, we want to get down to Rapid Shot because the last shot causes a knockback. Also, total the three hits, if you hit all three arrows, does 325 weapon damage, 325% weapon damage to the target. Great for single targets, and it's actually just a lot of fun to use. So the question is, how do you get down to that? So one of the things that I use is heavy attacks fly faster and deal 30% more damage as well as long range deal 20% more damage to foes at least 10 meters of 10 meters away. But now something to note is these just because you have two doesn't mean you can come down here. I can't click this yet. You have to have something in this next line. So you're probably not going to do both of those right away. Um, you, you are going to be using heavy attacks quite often because there's so many things that boost your heavy attacks. But we're going to focus on long range. First, 20% damage to foes because this is going to affect all of your auto attacks as well. And then you can take a 20% damage uh, decrease on you when you're aiming. Or you can go with finishing shot if your target's below 50% health, do, deal an additional 20% damage. You can do this. Um, with this spec, the majority of your bow damage is actually at the beginning of the fight. And you're actually not really taking damage while aiming. Um, I still bring, I still picked up finishing shot anyway. Uh, this is what I kind of prefer. Even though with this spec, 
when you're soloing, the majority of your bow damage is going to be at the beginning of the fight when the mobs are above 50% health. But by the time anything gets close enough to me, I'm not really aiming at them. I'm bringing out my spear and I'm stunning them. So rapid shot, you get into this. If all three arrows consecutively hit the same target, you get a faster cooldown on rapid shot, which is nice. And the final blow of rapid shot deals an additional 25% extra damage. Now, when you're doing these trees, you want to decide what you want to get. Do you want to get knee shot? Knee shot was majorly nerfed during the beta. Used to be 50% slow. Now it's a 10% slow for two seconds, which is nice. But I really like concussion, additional 20% 20, 20 damage when you land headshots. And you're using this spec on pull. And there's a couple of abilities that we're going to grab that really make your early, early attacks do a lot of damage. And that early, the first headshot's pretty easy to hit because it's a stationary target. And when you get these knockbacks, you can actually line up to get additional headshots. So I've, I've actually not really bothered to get these abilities quite yet. <clears throat> this will give you an additional uh, run speed, 15% run speed for 5 seconds after you use a evade shot, which is nice. But we're really focusing on a lot of early damage and then getting into your spear so that you can stun and knock them down and stagger them and just really burn them down with the spear damage. This is just early on boost or you know burst damage and slowing them down with your knockbacks. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get down to this concussion. So we need to do, do 10 abilities in here. We're not going to grab these. What we're going to do is we're going to get more of these passives. We're going to get surprise attack because 20% extra damage on your first attack. We can heal ourselves, but let's look at some of these other ones. We like this 30% extra damage on your heavy attacks. Opening with a heavy attack is incredibly powerful with this spec. Heavy attacks that deal 20% extra damage to foes with 100% health. It really makes a lot of sense with this bow spec to do your first initial attack, especially on a single target. Use a heavy attack, getting that headshot. So we need to get a couple more items. Uh, I really like having the arrow range ability increase the distance before it starts to fall off from gravity. So it's a lot easier to aim. Now this is kind of bugged, it's not letting me hit this bullseye, uh, you know, bow shots will critical chance an additional 10% of the time. And I'd like to get that, but it's not letting me click it, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Hawkeye. Unfortunately, I didn't have the right spec for this, I didn't have a full 20 spec in the game, so I wanted to do this uh, on New World fans, you can build all kinds of builds on this site. So we're going to go ahead and do a 10% heal on myself. Um, which I find to be more valuable than the 20% less damage while aiming. I like the healing output. I don't really deal too much with getting hit while aiming, to be honest. And then we were able to pick up Concussion. Now on the Skirmisher side, we have four points left to spend in our tree. Which means we can put more into here. We can get Bullseye. We can get Unbreakable Focus if we want to. Uh, but there are a couple things over on this side that are rather important abilities that we should be getting primarily evasive tactics now for this ability after you dodge you'll deal an additional 20 percent more damage for five seconds now it's important to note that all of the passives in any tree that you use only work while you're using the weapon that that ability is is attached to so this is only going to work for your bow you can't evasive tactics and then swap to your spear and benefit from the 20 percent damage boost but what you can do is make sure that you roll or dodge rather at the very beginning of a fight just to get this buff and then start using your bow attacks at the end of at the end of beta i realized that i needed to be doing this more often and I started testing it out where I would dodge, and then with all of these additional heavy attack bonuses, I would headshot with a, a just a standard heavy attack, and I was hitting for almost six or 7,000 damage just off of a standard heavy attack. And uh, it's incredibly powerful, so you need to have this evasive tactics, and you need to make sure that you're dodging to keep it up, because that additional 20% boost is huge. And then of course you want to finish off the spec by making sure that you get your battle position.
to get the increased duration of your dots and debuffs, your mark to get 10% more damage output from any foe that's suffering a debuff, which they will be, and direct hit. And that's going to finish off this knockback spec. And then, of course, we have the other spec I went over earlier, which is more of your AoE spec. Both of them are based off of con getting down to concussion. Both of them are very much based off of your heavy attacks. Definitely keeping evasive tactics that I can't stop You know, repeating is so important. But again, this is your knockback spec with the evasion shot knockback and the rapid shot knockback. The last shot causing a knockback. Um, so this is a, a really solid single target damage build. Again, Poison Shot's still very powerful. And then the other one is your AoE build with the Penetrating Shot, Poison Shot, Reign of Arrows, uh, so that you can have enough points to get down to Concussion. So that's the bow side of things, where you're going to be focusing on uh, opening up with long-range attacks, getting your dots on the target. I really like the Poison Shot dot with the Barbed Arrows dot in an AoE sense. And uh, then just going to town with that rotation on your spear, making sure that you're keeping everything uh, stunned, knocked down, uh, CC'd, just staggered, and uh, you know, just doing a lot of damage, finishing things off. I had a lot of fun with this spec. I felt that it was an incredibly powerful spec. It actually worked really well in groups as well. This gave me a lot of utility to make sure that mobs weren't doing any damage to anyone you know it, it just it was a very strong spec i'm going to be playing it again going into the next open beta and into live and um i look forward to your comments on this and what you think should change i've seen a lot of other types of specs for the spear i haven't seen too many people do this but i soloed all the way up to 60 i was one of the first people to 60 in the first beta and um it did very well for me i was able to solo Level 63 groups of uh, golden bordered elite not elite mobs. And I don't know. I just, I really enjoyed the spec. It gave me a lot of versatility. And it was kind of scary in PvP as well. Because I could just stun people like crazy. Knock them down like crazy. So play around with the spec. See if you like it. Let me know what you think.